In this video, you're going to see how a student from Brooklyn, New York, went from zero in the Arabic language to fluent in the space of 60 months. I'm sorry, I made a mistake while recording, so I have to record. <laughs> It's your brother Muhammad, founder of AndalusInstitute.com. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how one of the students at the AndalusInstitute.com went from not knowing Arabic two years ago to the point of fluency where he is at right now, where he is able to read the Quran, pick up the Quran, open the Quran at any page, read it, understand 70% to 100% of it, depending on whatever verse, and if not, still be able to go back to the tafsir of the Quran and read it in only Arabic and feel the meanings and feel what Allah Azza wa Jal is telling him through the verses only in Arabic. To get to that point, it was definitely not easy. And I'll show you guys right now where Tirno was at 60 months ago, where he couldn't even maintain a conversation with me, a very simple conversation, a how are you, where are you from type of conversation. I will roll the clip, I will let you guys see it, and I will be back with you to comment on that video. Tirno, Fahim? ما فهمت. So when it for the moon letters. Now oh, is that a Samsung? So as you can see, first of all, in this video, I was teaching the huruf al qamariya wa shamsiya, which is a very simple lesson. Yet Tirno was finding very hard to understand that simple lesson. Let's keep going watching. نعم أنا أريد تيرنو أن تتحدث بما تعلمنا في الدرس الأول. طيب فأنا أقول لك يا تيرنو السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. أجب بالعربية. أجب بالعربية ما معنى الجواب؟ أجب. إجابة. فأجب يا يا تيرنو بالعربية. أقول لك يا تيرنو السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. نعم كيف حالك يا تيرنو؟ بخير الحمد لله وأنت؟ الحمد لله أنا بخير. ما جنسيتك؟ جنسية أو oh, ناشيونالي؟ نعم نعم no. no. uh, أنا من جينيا I don't know how to say Guinea. Guinea, Guinea. Now, Guinea. 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 Kuno. Fi ayu medina tas kuno. A second. Hada hada fi dars a thali thadun. No mama na tas kuno. Aisu alia yehua. If you understand. La sual sual. I might be judging his level, but I know one of you guys in the comments knew what su'al meant, but it's not fluent in Arabic. So let me know, man, because su'al, like, if he didn't know su'al, I don't want to judge, but his level was very poor in the Arabic language. Let me know in the comments, please. Tarif su'al? Questions. Nah. Oh. Your sister had to say, yo, come on, man. Like, question, like. هذا لابد بالحفظ تيرنو بالحفظ إذا مر إذا مر أو إذا جاءت إذا جاءت كلمة لا تعرفها وتقول عليها يعني وتفهم في في اللحظة هذه عليك أن تكتبها أو أن تكتبها 
فهمت يا تيرنو؟ لا كان يبيت So when the letters, when uh, what is the word? Uh, I didn't understand like the. I understood like the. I know when it comes in letters, but then. لا كلمة ما هو حروف حروف يعني. Oh, oh, كلمة. Oh. كلمة أيوة. So what are the كلمة? I mean كلمة. No, we have different. حروف is letters, right? This was sixty months ago. Now let's look at where the level of Arabic got since then for Tierno, one of the first students at Andrews Institute, actually. Okay. بسبب كل شيء نرى في التلفاز والاخبار الناس في وسائل الاعلام هم يقولون ان هذا المرض شديد لو تذهب الى هذا المكان وهذه المكان ستصيب ستصيب بهذا المرض وممكن ستموت ولهذا سبب شعرت بخوف لان أنا أرى هذا دائما في التلفاز و... ولكن فكرت بنفسي أن أذهب إلى المكان الآخر و... المكان الآخر وأنا أرى أن ممكن فكرت بنفسي أن هذه المكان هناك فرص هناك هناك فرصة فرص أكثر أن يصيبني هذا المرض بذهب بذهب إلى المسجد وقلت لنفسي ان سبحان الله لماذا فقط انا افكر بهذا الاسلوب وايضا تذكرت ان لن نسيبنا الا ما كتب الله لنا والمسجد ان لا بد ان نذهب ولكن لان كثير من الناس كان يقول لي لما قلت لهم هيا نذهب الى المسجد يقول سبحان الله لماذا تريد ان تذهب الى المسجد والحال هكذا الان وقلت لهم ان هذا ان انت تذهب الى هذا المكان تذهب الى السوق وتذهب الى اي مكان اخر انت الناس يذهب وانت لا تخف ان يصيبك المرض ولكن في المسجد هناك كما قلت هناك فرص اكثر ان تصيبك ان يصيبك هذا المرض بذهب الى المسجد وهذا هذه القصة أنا أتذكر لأن قصة قصيرة حدث As you can see after this clip Alhamdulillah the level of Tierno in the Arabic language is clearly apparent that it got to a point of fluency where he is able to use the Arabic language very com comfortably and that shows in his way of speaking without really thinking about what he's saying yet able to explain to you something that happened to him, including feelings, including how it was, what he was thinking at that time. I found as well that at the end of the class, I told Tierno that at the end of the program, which was, by the way, he haven't even really completed the whole program at Andrews Institute. However, he's at this level already, alhamdulillah. But at the end of that lesson, I told him, that at the end of the program, he will be able to understand this ayah. So something cr crossed my mind. I, I thought, why not do the test right now? Put him on the spot. Let me read the same ayah that I told him he will be able to understand and see if he understands it. So let's roll the clip of me talking to him literally uh, half an hour or one hour ago. And let's see if he really understood and if the promise that was given by the founder of AndersInstitute.com was indeed fulfilled. Against that. However, in 12 months, you should get the result of being fluent in Arabic. You should, you should be able to take the Mus'haf and read a random ayah. You should know that Alladhi, you should know awhayna, awhayna. You should know ilayka min al kitab huwa al haq musaddiqan lima bayna. All of these words they are gonna come as as you go 
on on lessons? So the more you memorize the vocabulary, the more you're going to have a ground foundation, the more you're going to be able at the end of the 12 months to understand the average, everything, the average text, conversation, etc. الحمد لله رب العالمين أنا جيد وأنتم فأنا اليوم نعم. فجأة فجأة أتصل بك نعم. so the viewers because I'm preparing a surprise نعم. preparing a surprise for you and for, for the world so, so just to make sure I just told you get on the call I didn't even tell you anything right you don't know anything what I'm yeah. about yeah I don't know what's going on right now <laughs> Let me show you this recording on the right mic. You hear me well, yeah? Yeah. So I wanted to ask you a question, okay? okay. I'm going to read something to you, and I want to see if you, if you understand. Okay. So this thing is an ayah. Okay. And the ayah says, it says, وَالَّذِي أَوْحَيْنَا إِلَيْكَ مِنَ الْكِتَابِ هُوَ الْحَقُّ مصدقا لما بين يديه والذي أوحينا إليك من الكتاب هو الحق مصدقا لما بين يديك أو لما بين يديه So do you understand this ayah والذي أوحينا يقول في يقول في في التفسير تفسير ابن كثير يقول نعم. تعالى والذي اوحينا اليك يا محمد من الكتاب هو القران هو الحق مصدقا لما بين يديه اي من الكتب المتقدمه يصدقها نعم. المتقدمه يصدقها يعني نعم فهمت اوكي سو وات كان يو جيف مي ا ليتل يعني سامري اوف والذي اوحينا اليك من الكتاب هو الحق مصدقا yeah. لما بين يديه سو وات هاز بين ريفيل تو ذا بروفيسور صلى الله عليه وسلم That is like the truth that, that, that has been already revealed to like, you know, the generation from before, like the Jews and the Christians. Like if you check their book, they will find some of the remnants of like the truth that has been revealed to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So they can verify it with like, you know, Allah constantly talks about that, you know, the Quran, like to check their book. Uh, for example, this reminds me of like, you know, for example, the, the ruling of like stoning, where he was brought to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And then he told the Jews, you know, what is in your book? And then they came and like, they brought their book. But that's kind of like high in the ayah. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told them, like, you know, the punishment is it's already in your book, you know, because it's in the Quran and it's also in their book because it has been revealed from before. So that's what I understand from the ayah. Like, whatever has been revealed to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they have it. Like, if you check the, the book of, like, Torah, the original one, what was revealed to, you know, Musa Alayhi Salaam, and also revealed to Isa Alayhi Salaam, the Injil, like, the, the, the actual, like, you know, what was revealed, not like what we found today, the remnants that, 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 that stays today. If you checked it, they would have it with them. Like their scholars know the truth. So that's what I understand from that. So if we were to go, if we were to go word after word, mm -hmm. would you, would you be able to tell me what levy means? What levy? What levy? Oh, so what levy? Oh, right? It's like no, just, levy, yani that, word, word by word. What okay. levy means in Arabic? A levy is mean like the one who. Okay, the one who or like. I, I, I think in this in this context, like it would be like that which has been right, or that which like I think in this context. I'm that which okay, the yeah, one. like the one, who, the yeah. one who okay, awhayna like reveal, awhayib, ilayka, upon you or to you, tayib, min al kitab, from the book, huwa al haq, it is the truth, musaddiqan, musaddiqan like sadaka like to it's it's like truthful like. مصدقاً نحاول أن نشاهد مصدقاً like. يعني تقول مثلاً هذا الكتاب mm -hmm. أو تقول مثلاً آه آه يعني مثلاً أنا أقول لك خبر yeah. فتقول لا 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 هذا كذب أنت mm -hmm. لا تصدقني uh, do not believe so to believe yeah. mm -hmm. فمصدقا لما بين يديه مصدقا لما بين يديه يعني like هذا the... الكتاب 
هو مصدق لما بين يديه. So like the, the book is like I would say confirm what what, what they have I like confirm or like نعم نعم طيب بين يدي يعني what is the meaning by بين يدي like it means like it literally means like what is in between your hands like what do you have from the book like you know what you that's have. what we want but alhamdulillah basically what I'm trying to do with this video I'm telling you right now I found a video of you 60 months ago yeah where I was telling you After the program, you should be able to understand this. And I read this ayah. Really? And in that video, you were struggling. You didn't... I was explaining to you Al-Huruf Al-Qamariya wa Shamsiya. I said, if yeah. I am this, then oh. no, I don't understand. <laughs> you couldn't speak. I was... You, was, you didn't know Jinsiya. And I said, what Jinsiya took? You said, oh, okay, so Jinsiya. Um, you was just asking, like, what is Jinsiya? Things like that. So uh, like, now even me like I found like some over here I sent it to you like you know of like some like back in the days like there was like a word that is so basic that I didn't understand yeah because even like a lot of people you know come to me asking about the program and like asking me about you know like like how much of the Quran do you understand I tell them mm-hmm. like you know I cannot put like a precise word like estimate of how much I can understand but from the words that we learn from like the classes I mean from the lessons like I'm able to you know go to them like oh I know this word oh this is the word mm-hmm. Quran like I recognize it and then I'm able to get it So like the more words you learn, the more you're going to be able to understand from the Quran. No. Yeah. You know, the thing as well, when it comes to the Quran, yeah. like the point is not to understand the Quran, but to be able to understand the tafsir. Mm. Because the average, like even scholars, even Ar- Arabs themselves, yeah. they need to go back yeah. to tafsir. That's exactly. why it's, that's what it's made yeah. for. Exactly. I'm so happy seeing uh, these days I'm, I'm looking back at certain students and seeing their yeah. progress. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, I think he was actually the second student who joined the program. Second? Or like so the too, third yeah. or something. Video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it did inspire you guys to understand that everyone can learn this language. And it's very, very simple. It's not a difficult language like a lot of people say. And Allah says, وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِذِكْرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكِرِ And we have indeed made the Qur'an easy for it to, to remember and for it to understand. So is there anyone that is willing to take this dhikr, is willing to go ahead and do the effort of understand this dhikr? Now think about Allah Azza wa Jal revealing the book of the Quran in the Arabic language. What honor has the Arabic language, first of all, by the Lord and the creator of the, of the, of the earth and the skies to choose this word, to choose this language And then say that he has made the Quran easy. So how can anyone say that learn the Arabic language is difficult when Allah Azza wa Jal said that he has made the book easy and is in the Arabic language? So if you guys want to know what method did we use in order to get by the permission of Allah Tirno from the level he was at to the level he is at right now, you will find a one hour and so explanation presentation i would say of the method in the description down below so i hope you guys go and check it out and and let me know if you enjoyed this video in the comments down below don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one zakamullahu khayran وبارك فيكم السلام عليكم حباه الله خير لغاته فأي جلال فوق ذلك يذكر ويا من ترى يخفي محاسنها وقد سرى بمزاياها الكتاب المطهر سرى بمزاياها الكتاب المطهر